Welcome to Logic of English Spelling List 6. This spelling list is to accompany Lesson 6 of the Logic of English Essentials Curriculum. Uh, I hope that you've reviewed your phonograms that are found in this lesson and in all the previous lessons because mastering the phonograms is really key to being able to spell. In addition, hopefully you've completed part one of the lesson from the program. But before we teach the list, I'd like to review one of the spelling rules. And let's look at these words together and discover it together. We have the word staff, sniff, off, and puff. What do you notice about each of these words? You're right, we're doubling the F. Now, what else do you notice about these words? Let's think about the vowel sound. Are these vowels short, long, or broad sounds? So in staff, we have the A ah sound, which is the short sound. In sniff, we hear the I sound, which is the short sound. Off is a short sound, and puff is a short sound. What's happening in these words? Tall, ball, will, and pull. Tall, a, 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 that's the third sound or the broad sound. Broad sounds are marked with two dots. And then we have ball, a, 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 once again, it's the broad sound. Will, i, is the short sound. And pull, a, u, 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 pull has the broad sound as well. So you'll notice we're doubling the L's after here broad sounds and short sounds. And how about in these words, class, mess, moss, and pass? You're right, we're doubling the S, and it's always after a short sound. So our spelling rule for today is that we, all, we often double F, L, and S after a single vowel. Now, these vowels can be short or broad. However, they can never be long sounds. The first word is each you will each need a copy. Let's sound it out together. E, this will be an E, A, A, CH. Go ahead and write each. Now be sure that you're sounding it out as you write it. And help me to write it. Let's sound it out together because I want you to sound it out as I write it. E, CH. And how will we mark each? We'll underline the E and we'll underline the CH. The next word is smooth. The wood feels smooth. Let's sound out smooth together. S, m, u. This is an u, a, o. S, smooth. Now help me to write smooth. S, m, u, v. And how will we mark smooth? We'll underline the u and we'll underline the v. Now what sound of th, th is this? It's the second sound. So we'll put a little two over it to remind us that it's saying it's second sound. The next word is afternoon. We will go for a walk in the afternoon. How many syllables in af, ter, noon? Three. The first syllable is af, a, f. The second syllable is ter, Er, this is the er of her. And the third syllable is noon. N, u, this is an u, a, o, n. Go ahead and write af, ter, noon. Once again, be sure to sound it out as you write it. And now help me to write it. The first syllable is af, a, f. The second syllable is ter, Er. And the third syllable is noon. N, u, n. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the er and the u. By the way, what two words uh, are used to form afternoon? Noon and after. And this literally means anytime after 12 o'clock noon. The next word is igloo. My brothers built an igloo in the backyard. How many syllables in ig, loo? Two. The first syllable is ig, i, g. The second syllable is lu, l, u. This is an u, a, uh, o. Go ahead and write ig, lu. 
And now help me to write it. The first syllable is ig. I g. The second syllable is lu. U u. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the u. The next word is cliffs. The cliffs in that area are very high. Cliffs. Let's sound it out together. K. This is a k. S. U e. Cliffs. Go ahead and write it. And now help me to write it. Sound it out for me. K. U. I. F. F. S. All right. What is the singular of cliff? It's or of cliffs. You're right. It's cliff. And you'll notice we doubled the f after a single vowel. Um, at the end of the base word in cliff. Now we can still add the s to make it plural, but this is the end of the base word, and the vowel is short here, so we have cliffs. The next word is sandwich. I will have a sandwich for lunch. How many syllables in sandwich? Two. The first syllable is sand. S a n d. The second syllable is which. W i c h. Go ahead and write sand which. And now help me to write it. The first syllable is sand. S a n d. The second syllable is which. W i c h. And we have anything to mark in this word? Yes, we'll underline the ch. The next word is bunches. She picked bunches of flowers for her mom. How many syllables in bunch? As two. The first syllable is bunch. B a n ch. The second syllable is as. A z. Go ahead and write bunch as. And now help me to write it. The first syllable is bunch. B a n ch. The second syllable is as, as, and how will we mark bunches? We'll underline the ch. And what did s, z say in bunches? It said the z sound, which we'll put a two over to remind us it's saying its second sound. Now, what is the root of bunches? You're right, it's bunch. In fact, this is the singular word. And as you learned in part one of the lesson, or actually as you learned in Uh, the previous lessons, we um, to make a word plural, we just add an s unless the word hisses, and then we add an es. Here we hear bunch ch. It's a hissing sound, and we couldn't really say bunch. That would be very difficult, so we add the e in there. Bunches, and you'll hear that the plural actually has two syllables. We have bunch, one syllable, bunch as, two syllables. The next word is garden. The daisies in the garden are blooming. How many syllables in gar den? Two. The first syllable is gar, g r. The second syllable is den, d e n. Go ahead and write gar den. Once again, be sure you're sounding it out nice and loudly as you write it. And now help me to write it. The first syllable is gar, g, r, and the second syllable is den, d, e, n. And how will we mark garden? We'll underline the r. The next word is court. We will need a quart of cream. How many syllables in court? One. Let's sound it out together. Qu, r. Quart. Go ahead and write quart. And now help me to write it. Qu R T. And how will we mark this word? We'll underline the q and the r. Now the next word is related, and I want you to tell me if you notice how it's related to the word quart. The next word is quarters. Cut the cake into quarters. How many syllables in quart? Ers. Two. 
The first syllable is court, qua, r, t. The second syllable is ers, er, the er of her, z. Go ahead and write court, ers. And now help me to write it. The first syllable is court, qua, r, t. And the second syllable is ers, er, z. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the qu and the r and the er and quarters. It has a z sound at the end. So what sound of z is this? The second, so we'll put a two over it. Now, what do you notice about court and quarters? You're right, they both have the word court in them. I want you to be thinking about the meaning of court and we're gonna do one more word and then we'll talk about this root. The next word is quartet. The quartet will play at seven o'clock. How many syllables in quartet? Two. The first syllable, syllable is quar, qua, r. The second syllable is tet, t, e, t. Go ahead and write quartet. And now help me to write it. Qua, r, Tet, t, e, t. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the qu and the r. Now, how are each of these words related? You're right, they all have that root court. And have you figured out what court means? Well, if we just go to the word quarters, how many quarters are there in a dollar? You're right, there are four. And if I cut something into quarters, I've cut it into four pieces. So court means four. We can also now know that a quart is, there are four quarts in a gallon. And this is very helpful because many people forget that, but once you see the relationship between quarters and quart, it'll become very easy to remember that. Also, a quartet is a group with four musicians. And so if I go to hear a quartet, I'm going to hear four singers or four musicians who play together. So we can see that the root quart means Four, and this is a good signal to us as to what this word will mean. The next word is raisins. Would you like raisins on your cereal? How many syllables in ray zins? Two. The first syllable is ray, er, a. Now this is two letter a that you may not use at the end of English words. The second syllable is zins, z, i, n, z. You need to use a s, z for both of these. Go ahead and write ray zins. And now help me to write it by sounding it out with me. The first syllable is ray, er, a. The second syllable is zins, z, i, n, z. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the a. And what sound is s, z saying in this word? It's saying its second sound, so we'll put a two over it. And it's saying its second sound in both of these places. Now, I want you to take note. We have two letter A that we may not use at the end of English words, saying the long A sound at the end of the syllable. This is very unusual. It's the only word I can think of where this happens. Typically, we use a single letter A to spell the long A sound at the end of the syllable. So as you're learning to spell the word raisins, you'll want to take careful note of that. The next word is school. I walk to school every day. How many syllables in school? Very good, one. Let's sound it out together. S, k. This is a ch, k, sh, u, ul. Go ahead and write school. And now help me to write it. Let's sound it out together. S, k, u, u. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the k. Now, this says ch, k, sh. What sound of ch, k, sh do we hear in school? We hear the second sound, k. So we'll put a two over it to remind us it's saying its second sound, k. And we'll underline the u. 
I'd like to show you another related word to school that can help you with this word. Have you ever thought about the word scholar? Let's sound it out together. S-K-A-U-L-A-R. We have the word scholar. Notice they have a similar root and School means a place that we study, and that's where scholars often are found in schools. These are related Greek roots, and you'll notice in Greek that k sound is often spelled with the phonogram ch, k, sh. All right, let's go ahead to our next word. The next word is witness. The witness to the crime will testify today. How many syllables in witness? Two. The first syllable is wit. W -i -t. The second syllable is ness. N -e -s -s. Go ahead and write wit ness. And now help me to write it. The first syllable is wit. W -i -t. The second syllable is ness. N -e -s -s. Now notice we doubled the s after a single vowel. And this vowel is saying a short sound. And as we said earlier in the uh, video, that this, these vowel are, we often double F, L, and S at the end of a base word, and only before short or broad vowels. The next word is lizard. John has a pet lizard. How many syllables in lizard? Two. The first syllable is liz. L, I, Z. Now this will be a Z. Zs are very uncommon in English, so make sure you use a Z to write the Z sound. Liz, second syllable is ard. R, D. Go ahead and write Liz ard. And now help me to write it. The first syllable is Liz. O, I, Z. The second syllable is ard. R, D. And how will we mark it? Well, underline the R. Very good. The next word is upstairs. Ella's bedroom is upstairs. How many syllables in upstairs? Two. The first syllable is up, up. The second syllable is stairs, s, t, a. Two letter A that you may not use at the end of English words. Er, z. Go ahead and write upstairs. And now help me to write it by sounding it out. The first syllable is up, a, uh, p. The second syllable is stairs, s, t, a, er, z. And how will we mark upstairs? We'll underline the two letter A. And what are the two words that combine together to say upstairs? Yep, you're right, it's up and stairs. And stairs are steps, and upstairs means something that's up the steps or up the stairs. The next word is painless. The test was painless. How many syllables in pain less? Two. The first syllable is pain, p, a, two letter a that you may not use at the end of English words, n. The second syllable is less, l, a, s, s. Go ahead and write pain less. And now help me to write it. The first syllable is pain. P A N. The second syllable is less. O A S S. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the A. And notice in painless, once again, we have a double S at the end of the word. And the rule is we often double F, L, and S after a single vowel at the end of a base word. And here this vowel is short. And as we said before, those vowels are always short or broad. By the way, what is the root of painless? You're right, it's pain. And then we add the suffix less. And so something that's painless is without pain. The next word is fearless. Mason is fearless. How many syllables in fear less? Two. The first syllable is fear. E. This is an E-A-A. 
er. Second syllable is less. L e s s. Go ahead and write fear less. And now help me to write it. The first syllable is fear. E, er, and the second syllable is less. O, e, s, s. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the e, and we'll notice that fearless once again has double s's at the end. We often double f, l, and s after a single vowel at the end of a base word. And what is the root word of fearless? It is fear, and someone who is fearless is someone who is without fear. The next word is doorbell. Who just rang the doorbell? How many syllables in door bell? Two. The first syllable is door. D o. This is an u a o. Er. The second syllable is bell. B a o o. Go ahead and write door bell. And now help me to write it. The first syllable is door, d, o, er, and the second syllable is bell, b, e, o, o. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the o. And what sound of u, a, o is this? The third sound. So we'll write a three over it. And notice we doubled the l's. We often double f, l, and s. After a single vowel at the end of the base word, once again it's before a short vowel. The next word is apartment. My grandmother's apartment is nearby. How many syllables in a part meant? Three. The first syllable is a. Go ahead, a. The second syllable is part. P R T. The third syllable is meant. M A N. Go ahead and write a part meant. The first syllable is a. The second syllable is part. P R T. And the third syllable is meant. M A N. And how will we mark apartment? You'll notice a said its long sound at the end of the syllable. And what's the what's the rule? A e o u usually say their names at the end of the syllable. Then we'll underline the r. Now I want you to be watching the next few words for a root that they all have in common, and then we'll talk about them. The next word is compartment. The box has a compartment for each piece. How many syllables in com part meant? Three. The first syllable is com. K. This is a k. S. A m. Second syllable is part. P. R. T. The third syllable is meant. M. A. N. T. Go ahead and write com part meant. Go ahead and help me sound it out now. The first syllable is com. You're right. K a m. The second syllable is part. P r t. And the third syllable is meant. M a n t. And how will we mark compartment? Well, underline the r. Are you starting to see what these have in common? The next word is partner. Work with your partner on the project. How many syllables in partner? Two. The first syllable is part. P R T. The second syllable is ner. N er. This is the er of her. Go ahead and write partner. Great job! Now help me to write it. The first syllable is part. P R T. The second syllable is ner, n er. And how will we mark it? We'll underline the r and the er. Now 
Let's look at these words a little bit more closely. You'll notice that each of them has the root part. And if you have a part of something, it means you have one piece out of the whole. And so an apartment is one living space within a larger building that has been cut up into separate parts. And that is what the root, um, or that's how they named the word apartment. Now, something that has a compartment is also divided up into small, uh, smaller pieces or smaller spaces. Com actually means with in Latin. It's a prefix meaning with. So this literally means with parts. And then a partner is someone who you do part of the work with. So these are all related in meaning together. The next word is spectators. The spectators at the football game cheered loudly. How many syllables in spectators? Three. The first syllable is spec. S-p-e-k. This is a k. -s. The second syllable is t a. T -a. The third syllable is tours. T or z. Go ahead and write spec t a. Tours. Be sure that you're sounding it out so that you write each of the sounds. Great job sounding it out. Now help me to write it. The first syllable is speck, s, p, e, k. The second syllable is t, t, a. And the third syllable is tours. T or Z. And now help me to mark this word. Notice A said it's long sound, so we'll draw a line over it. And why did it say its name or its long sound? You're right. A, E, O, U usually say their names at the end of the syllable. And then we can underline the or. And what sound of Z do we hear in spectators? We hear Z. So we'll write a little two over it to remember that it's saying its second sound, z. The next word is inspector. The inspector will be here soon. How many syllables in in-spec-tor? Three. The first syllable is in, i, n. The second syllable is spec, s, p, e, k. This is a k, s. The third syllable is tor, t, or. Go ahead and write in spec tor. And now help me to write it. The first syllable is in, i, n. The second syllable is spec, s, p, e, k. And the third syllable is tor, t, or. And how will we mark this? We will underline the or. Do you see something that's similar between these two words? Start to think about what you might, what that root might mean. The last word is spectacular. The skating show was spectacular. How many syllables in spec, tac, u, lar? Four. Let's hear those one more time. Spec, tac, u, lar. Now let's sound them out. The first syllable is spec, s, p, e, k. The second syllable is tac, t, a, k. The third syllable is u. And the third syllable, or the fourth syllable is lar, l, r. Now with this word, it is really important that you sound it out as you write it. Spec, tac, u, lar. When you don't sound it out and they're big words, you're often going to miss a letter or two or a phonogram or two when writing it. So be sure to sound this out loud as you write it. Spec, tac, u, lar. And now help me to write it. The first syllable is spec, s, p, e, k. The second syllable is tac. Ack. The third syllable is U. And the fourth syllable is Lar. O R. And how will we mark spectacular? We'll put a line over the U. Why did the U say its long sound? 
because it's at the end of the syllable. And what's the rule? A, E, O, U, usually say their names at the end of the syllable. And then we'll underline the R. So what do you notice about each of these words? Each of these words have the root spec in them. Have you figured out what spec means? Spec means to look at. So spectators are people who are looking at or watching something. An inspector is someone who looks at something carefully. And something that's spectacular is something that's wonderful to look at. You can also think of the word spectacles, which is a word that is sometimes used to mean eyeglasses. So spec is a root meaning to see or to look at. Thank you so much for joining us for Spelling List 6, and you've done a wonderful job, and I hope you're able to join us for Spelling List 7.